So this is a standard 801 atomizer, often known for its flavor. It has a very large female connector on one side. It is quite a long tube, good uh, inch and a half, almost two inches, with a mouthpiece and a very wide, tall, deep well of juice, which a lot of people were very into these for flavor. It is enormous in comparison to a 510, so being stealthy with it wasn't very easy. Here it is compared to just a standard 510 with a cartridge top on it. And you can see both the difference in the connector types and the size of the cartridge itself. Now, what I got in this week from Eichenvape.com are his Stealth Canon 510s. I got it in a 1.8 ohm and 2.5 ohm. Now, what these are are basically an 801 with his spec coil with a 510 connector on the bottom. Now, it's probably it's not going to fit on every mod because it has that wide area of body straight up off the connector there. So you can see that it's much wider and there's much more metal coming away from the connector than there is on that. But it is going to work on most things. I've actually used it on quite a few bottom feeders and it's been working great. And as you can see in there, it's got the coil, which we'll look at close up, a real 801 coil in this coil. It's kind of pushed down. It's got that huge 801 ceramic cup on the bottom, but it's shorter, but having that same width of the 801. So basically an 801 in a 510 form factor, which should be quite intriguing. And again, he has these in three ohms. He also has them in 2.0. We just got the 1.8 and the 2.5 here to try out and they look very much the same inside so just the resistance of the coil would be different and again size comparison it's got that same diameter or width as the 801 but the coil and the cup are much closer to the top of the atomizer than it is on an actual 801 which might help because the 801 was kind of a cool vape so bringing it closer is good now this is a standard 801 atomizer you can see that really high pointed bridge in there and then the cup and then you can see the coil underneath it and this is the new stealth you can see that bridge has kind of been pushed down and flattened that cup is still there and the the, the wick in there is very nice and neat and pulled over the corners of the cup so hey folks, Jen or Murgriffin here, and took a look at those Icon Vape Canon Stealth Addies. I'm not sure they're really stealthy. Canon, definitely. Um, they are not going to be for you if you like a hot vape, because even that close to the internals in there, the vape is cool. It has amazing flavor. Pretty good vapor. Not bad. And working on a bottom feeder, that is the uh, monkey box. That's the 2.5 ohm one, running at 5.5 volts. Gotta be a little careful about how much juice you bump up because the Addy's taking up more space in the drip well than the other one. I have the 1.8 ohm one on my Rio Woodville um, with a little Hawaii sunrise in there. Flavor is amazing. Uh, decent vapor. It is a very cool vape. You're not getting much warmth at all, and you are pretty close to that huge bridge and that pretty big ceramic coil down there. But I don't know if they're going to take the place of the Cisco low resistance stuff on here or my I can vape high voltages normal 510s on here, but they're nice for a change. So I may give them a go. You can try them out and see what you think.